Good afternoon from Yummy B T V. Now, quickly, a uh, quick video of this one. Um, on its way up in precisely a couple of minutes will be part one of my old mucker, Billy Burnside from Leeds, Yorkshire. His life story going up there any second now. A question has uh, been asked for quite some time, or rumours, or alleged... Um, Billy tells me it was in Lenny McLean's book. I haven't read it. But the supposed arrangement of Paul Sykes going to have that bare knuckle fight with Lenny McLean. Um, that many, some say that Paul got Paul Sykes got scared and didn't turn up because he lost his bottle, meaning that he was scared to turn up. Billy says something different. What is your reason right. behind this? Hundred <clears throat> percent. The fight was set up just right. like when him and Roy tried. It was going to be a bare knuckle. Okay. There was money put down for it and everything it yeah. was all arranged right. it was going to happen down your neck of the woods yeah all right the night before paul's gone out yeah and he's there used to be a club in wakefield town center along the main road that goes yeah. to wakefield yeah. called rooftops it was a nightclub paul has gone there yeah the bouncers obviously because he was barred from every pub and club in, in wakefield yeah wouldn't let him in yeah so a fight's ensued yeah and paul's basically wiped the four bouncers out on the front door the police have then come. There's been a big fight with them. Paul's been nicked. Right. Uh, so that's why the fight didn't happen. There was no bottle in it. Nothing like that. Uh, Paul never bottled from anybody in his prime. I mean, you know, you get a lot of these people that go on with this. I mean, I wasn't close to Paul. Yeah. I knew I knew him. He knew me. Uh, we knew each other at a speech when we saw each other. Yeah. We knew each other's dead, but we weren't close, close friends, you know? Yeah. But we knew who each other was. And you could find out things about each other. Yeah, the same of course, kind of, of course, of course. Of, things, so. of course, Yami, yeah. Now, at the end of the day, mate, you know, you get a lot of people going on saying, oh, I, Paul Sachs bottled it, and Paul Sachs, this is, listen, they're all saying all this when the man's dead. Yeah. In there to defend himself. Yeah. But yet, yeah, these people that spoke about in books, by the likes of Lenny McLean and Roy Shaw, yeah. Paul Sykes what? Yeah. I mean, I know yeah. for the fact Roy Shaw beat Lenny, Roy Shaw, uh, Lenny, yeah. sorry, Paul Sykes beat Roy Shaw yeah. twice yeah, in a yeah. fight. He's, he's, <clears throat> he's a bigger man. 100%. Roy, Roy, Roy he Roy. did not bottle it. Against Lenny McLean. No, he got so nicked. He got, That's a fact. So he was actually in custody. Maybe some of you know this already. Uncle Yummy doesn't know, right? So um, he didn't bottle it. He was all he was in custody, and 100%. probably he might have got remanded into custody. He White did. never got arranged, he did. Again. so he, he ended did. up in prison. Yeah, so White never got arranged again. It's pretty obvious that he might have been in prison at the time, and then it never um got going again for what I think. Then, reasons. by the time Paul got out, by, the time by that was... time, then Lenny McLean had become ill, he'd become ill because okay. you know he died in the mid 90s of cancer, didn't right. he? Tragically, uh, mm. and that's why it never came about. All right, so part one, Billy Burnside's story up there, Uncle Yami jumbling up videos today because um different parts in the video um i've forgotten how to do we got part two coming up tonight rather sorry um billy's time in broadmoor with ronnie cray um peter sutcliffe, peter sutcliffe et cetera et cetera so that bit's coming up in a little bit as a part two plus 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 some other stories on their own so we're gonna have a half hour of dynamite after part one sorts itself out so that's the clarification coming down here from Yorkshire about Lenny McLean and Paul Sykes. Rest in peace to both of them. See you soon.